What is it, Rizu? Welcome back to another video. Let me pause that because I don't want to get hit with no copyright. But man, my voice is a lot better. Um, man, I'm feeling good today. I just think I needed to get some rest. So for today, we are going to pretty much finish all the woodwork part of the build, which is the OBS Extended Cab uh, GMC. Uh, we got 412 Sundown Audios E12 subs that are going in it. Somewhat entry level subs, I guess you can say. But there's nothing entry level about those guys because those two units are beefy. And we got it actually on a Terra Amp 3K, man. This is like the better series of these um, brand, you know, the, the base series. And we're doing a 3K in it, and that thing is going to be loud. And we're also doing the 4.8s and tweeters on this guy, the Terra Amp. This is actually the DS 800 by 4. Very, very good amp. Very small amp, too. So. These, those amps are pretty small that you can just pretty much put anywhere and man them things are going to deliver some serious punches you know here and there so um, I'm going to go ahead and pull the truck up and I'm going to show you where we left off yesterday because my camera had died um, but man guess what I wanted to actually share this with you guys because man you know without you guys a lot of this stuff is not possible man you know and I want to thank you guys you know um, let me get my phone real quick so I can show you guys a little bit. Within two days 48 hours man we actually hit 1k views on the two videos before the one that I'm fixing to do right now which is really awesome and that is like really like when I was watching the numbers jump 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 I was like dang that's crazy and the other one that we actually got going pretty good is the door panel video that's at 507 so you guys are doing you know excellent watching the videos and everything but man I feel that we should be hitting 1k a day on these videos man we got um, 1.333 subscribers we should at least be getting 800 views, you know, within 24 hours. So, I mean, like I said, I do have that little small surprise giveaway that I'm doing. If you go ahead and uh, pause the video, um, right next to where it says subscribe on my channel, it says, uh, it has like the little bell. Hit that bell and turn the notifications to all. And man, at least watch the video for like five minutes if you're bored or do something, man. You know, saying that'll help your boy out and we can bring a lot more, you know, opportunities to the channel and make the channel grow and, you know, just... The more people watch, the bigger the channel gets, and the more it gets pushed out on YouTube for people to watch that have not watched, man. And we can get this channel to grow together. All my OG subscribers, you know, I salute you guys because you guys are doing a good job watching all the videos. You guys comment, everything. And I got everybody's name that keeps commenting done on the videos and enter them for that surprise giveaway. So somebody's going to walk away with something. Could be an amp, a pair of speakers, a pair of tweeters, radio. Who knows? I mean, I'm going to surprise you guys because you guys are surprising me with these views. So I got to hook so you guys talking, up. man. Let's get to work because the day is coming. Uh, this truck needs to get done fast. There is a truck show this weekend, but I don't know if my boy's going to go to it. But he needs his truck back because he needs to be jamming. He needs to show that man Mouse got, got down on it. And he needs to be riding around jamming with the thing. So let me pull the truck up real quick and I'll show you what we got going on. So this is where we pretty much left off yesterday at cutting that panel you see how this side obviously it's got the top but you see right there it doesn't have the side of it well this side it's already flushed out you see what I'm saying you see how much more nicer it looks with the end caps on it and um, makes the, the box look that much prettier and it actually helps because you want the base just to be going up because if you'd have this open the base comes down here even though like you don't see it and you don't sense it like man it's there and you notice it um so basically what's going to happen today is i'm going to go ahead and like sand that side down and uh get that one done you can then just get this one built and then once that's done i'm going to go ahead and uh mount the uh the, the lid for the box and then I'm gonna set the amps here in place and then it's gonna tell me um, how much room I got to work with and then my goal is to put the amps like right here um, but I gotta build uh, somewhat an amp rack for it so uh, um, 
I can set them in place and I don't, I'm just gonna try to screw on the um, the box, not the floor because I don't wanna drill holes through his truck. You see what I'm saying? So um, we're trying to do everything as much as possible not to drill in it because it's a nice truck and I don't want him to have holes here and there in it. But pretty much um, it's almost, you know, done. Goals, today's goals is to finish flushing it out. That's number one. Number two, build the amp rack for it. Number three, wrap all the pieces. And then number four, grind the door panels. So then basically I can wrap everything all at one shot with the door panels and everything. And then if we can have pretty much everything by four o'clock, four o'clock, woodwork done, uh, everything grinded down and everything wrapped by like at least five o'clock. And then at night, I can go ahead and somewhat, you know, pre-wire the truck. So then tomorrow, all we really got to do is just do a couple minor things, which is like cut the EQ slot out and everything. So the truck pretty much leaves tomorrow at 3 o'clock. So today, it is a very hard work day. I'm going to try to pick up my camera as much as possible as I can to show you guys as we go. But it is crunch time. We have to get this truck done. My boy wants to jam it, and we need to get, you know, it's, it's we got a lot working on, on this truck today. So we have to get it. We gotta, we gotta work today, guys. So, um, let me go ahead and get all the tools out that I need, get situated, and then I'll pick up the camera and let you know where we stand at after I get done that, so you can see what the whole truck looks like after it gets flushed out. Flush panels are done. Let me show you what, you, what we got. Looks pretty good. So you see how over here it's flushed out. Don't mind that because once I actually screw it and with the carpet and everything it fills in like this right here so don't even worry about that. It's just with one screw holding it. But you see so now you don't see no gaps and you don't see no battery. And it looks really good. So the next step now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to like mount the lid with like two screws. So then I can start working on my um, amp rack and build the, the side filler pieces right there for the the bottom of it so you don't see that right there and with that after that gets done I think we're pretty much you know ready to rock and roll it, it is done with the woodwork part of it and then we just start wrapping everything in carpet drop some comments and let me know what you guys think this thing is gonna be really loud man no lie this thing is gonna be beaten this whole roof is gonna be flexing really hard and the base is gonna be moving everything so I'm really excited let me show you the progression that we got going on already so you see the thing is flushed out nice. We got the contour of it cut out. It's pretty good. Um, I'll probably cut this out a little bit more because the amp rack's gonna go right here and I need to cut this section out so I can be able to run like my odd gauge and stuff like that. But for the most part of it, man, it, it's ready. Um, I could really honestly wrap this already in the carpet, but I wanna wrap everything at one shot. So I'm actually just gonna, um, Continue and just build the amp rack so then all the woodworking is actually done complete so I can wrap everything at one shot and I might actually just um, Like staple these guys together so they go in together as one so you don't see no seams and um, Looking pretty good. I like it. I really like it Drop some comments. Let me know what you guys think uh, Maybe later on in life. He could actually put like some tens or something up here real nice but for right now, we just got this. Um, or he can even do some like sixes and something like right there. I mean, maybe like a mountain and some like plexiglass or something. But I mean, the, he can recline the seat back, everything, and it still doesn't touch, which is good. And I mean, it's coming out pretty good. Um, once we put the uh, the carpet and everything, it's gonna fill up all the gaps pretty good. And you know, because sometimes you don't want to build it too tight because once you put it in with the carpet and everything already wrapped, um, the where it seems at. Um, it could like scratch it and like rip it and stuff like that. So you always sometimes just want to leave like small gaps because the thickness on the carpet from this panel and uh, the front panel, um, it's thick enough and then you still you got those. So you want it to just like firmly press in. So it's going to fill it up pretty good. The same thing like right here. Um, with the pressure of this one, it's going to push it and then the, the gaps of it will fill it in a little bit more. And I mean, we're ready to rock and roll, guys. So now I'm gonna put the amps right here, and then I'm gonna make the amp right. But I'm gonna go get the amps real quick so you guys can see what's going on. We got the uh, tear amp, the 800 by four. 
You see, these guys are little. So we're gonna put it right there. So. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think. Well, I'm still gonna do something regardless. Um, I could probably even do like this big guy right here. And then maybe this guy like right here, like that. See what I'm saying? Um, just so it's out the way and it, we know that it's uh, um, secure and everything so no one messes with them. And we can actually build a really nice um, amp rack with it and it'll look pretty good. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I am making the amp rack and I'm making the side pieces. So basically, my amp's gonna go right here. So I'm just gonna like mark it. And then this amp's going right here. So I'm just gonna mark it. And then so basically, I'm just gonna like cut out here so we can just have like a L coming up. And so you, it'll only have windows cut out. So you just see the, the windows of the amps that say like base 3K and the DS18. And then so we can track our wires nice and neat so you never see no wires and everything. So it looks just like really neat. You see what I'm saying? Although it's not like fully customized, it's still, it's gonna have like no wires shown and everything. And we still want it to look nice for my boy because he does go to shows and even though it's just carpet and everything, it's still gonna look really good and really loud. So. You want to give people the wow factor. You see what I'm saying? So, so. the amp rack, it is getting done. I think I just got to cut the top pieces and then cut windows out. So basically like that right there. But this is going to be up a little bit more. You see? Um, so what I'm going to actually do now is I am actually going to put it together. And then uh, make the, the tops of it. And um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Then cut the windows out, put it together, and then I think we're ready to almost like wrap, to be honest. I'm gonna put on a pause to my uh, soap operas I'm watching. I always watch like Mexican soap operas as I work. But okay, so this is the amp rack. I took it out of the truck. So basically, like this piece goes right here, and this piece goes right here. So those squares cut out. Are actually just windows that are going to just be displaying. Although up there. they're not symmetrical because the amps, one's smaller and one's bigger than the other one, um, the windows will still be cut out so you can still see the displays on them. But man, they're going to look really good once we put it on it and then I can cut the, the lid to its size. I'm just waiting to uh, finish that up so it is so I can cut that and then I'm just going to staple like this top one, this one right here. Um, the face of it and then the bottom of it so it just sits down as one you see what I'm saying and then put it together with like some uh, nice screws um, I'm gonna color them probably like burgundy or I'm gonna go to the hardware store and see what I can find so everything looks like really nice fitting in with all matching screws all right, so it. this is the amp rack when it's out of the truck and what I'm actually doing is I'm just stapling it and uh, I'm stapling it because, like I said, this top piece is going to go uh, slide down as one. And you see? So I'm basically just uh, stapling it so it'll be together as one and then so I can wrap it together as one. And then I can put the amp rack in there and then once the amps are wired in there, I can just lay that piece on top and then just like screw it down. Or I'm going to try to find another way how to screw it down to where you don't see no screws. But then just because, um, so then I can mount this up against the box and not mount it down and screw the, the, the truck down. You see what I'm saying? So let me go ahead and staple this and then I'm going to set inside the truck so you can see what it looks like inside there. Alright, so I'm making a little shopping list real quick. And let's see what we got rocking, man. Oh yeah, I need to put bolts on there for the door panels. Um, so there you have it. There's a little amp rack right there where the amps are going. And everything's pretty much flushed out ready to rock and roll so basically what I have to do right now is um, I, you see that cut out right here along the bottom I need to trace that on that piece of wood 
because um, that's where I'm going to be feeding wires in for the amps and so um, it can have all the wire that it needs in all the place so I don't have to um, sit there and fight with it and be like oh man where's my wires where's my wires so it's already ready to rock and roll for me to run them and then I just got to cut it on the other side so you never see none of the holes and no gaps or nothing but pretty much the the build I can say honestly it is done and then um, I just got to mark off where I'm gonna screw the lid on which is this one onto the box so that is uh, done ready to rock and roll and then we can pretty much start wrapping everything up and then start loading stuff up and putting everything but so my plan for right now my plan for right now is to go ahead and um, mark out that cut, uh, cut it out on the uh, the lid which is this one and then mark it out and um, do all the pre holes and everything so that's already know that the screws are ready to lined up and everything ready to rock and roll and so once I get that cut out and the screws are you know somewhat in place then I can go ahead and say like this thing is uh, ready to wrap but what I think I'm gonna do actually today so tomorrow I don't have to do nothing is I think I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, cut out the um, the EQ today so tomorrow basically I don't have to bust out no saws or nothing all I have to do is just bust out my crimpers and my wire cutters and my electrical tape and the connectors and everything so we don't have to do any of that stuff for um, tomorrow so all the hard stuff is done today you see what I'm saying so um, let me go ahead and uh, get everything done and um, get everything buckled up and then I'll let you know how everything looks here in a little bit so that's done it's it's not the greatest thing in the world but you know it's a quick little amp rack looks pretty you know all right I guess but it, it's gonna do the job it's gonna hold the amps in place and you can see the windows in it and that's all that matters guys so let me go I'm probably gonna am gonna router this out real quick just so to give it a little bit more look and then I think we can uh, start to do um, the the pre holes and everything so let me get on it real quick the woodworking is done it is complete you know we got the panels in place I got marked off area where I need a um, pre drill the the bottom panels and I already pre um, and countersunk the holes where the lids gonna be going so that's good and ready to go on there um, the amp racks already good and I already trimmed out the bottom that need to get trimmed out so I can run wires through there so the amps you never seen the wires so now the only thing to do is I'm gonna take this um, out I'll take the speakers out of it and I am actually going to uh, cut it out so the EQ can go in there and um, so we can get done with it you know what I'm saying I think we should be good after we cut this out and I just wanted to knock that out the way so I don't have to do no cutting whatsoever tomorrow so let me take these speakers out these DS18s and he may actually take the DS18s out of it and put PRVs in it and I'm gonna connect this tweeters for him but so your boy mouse is done with all the woodworking all the cut cutting everything that has to do with the installation and all that hard stuff it is done guys and so basically all we got left to do is just start wrapping stuff so if I really get on the ball and start wrapping stuff I can wrap have stuff wrapped within the last hour so I can include that in the in the radio in the video so so tomorrow all we have to do is just grind down the backs of the door panels and wrap those as well but I'm gonna try to wrap those tonight and then once we get that done pretty much is just installing stuff in here man so and we have all day tomorrow, which I'm going to probably try to start doing it at like 7 o'clock in the morning. So we don't have any uh, problems or issues or any of that stuff. And so he can just pretty much just pick up the truck, man. And But I may actually bust out tonight and start pre-wiring everything. So I'm ahead of the game. You see what I'm saying? So tomorrow is just not the major stuff. Loading the subs is probably going to take me like an hour. Along with mounting the box and everything. But I think we're doing good timing. So, I mean, we'll see what happens. But for right now... Um, I cleaned up a lot of the stuff that I don't need right now, so now I'm just gonna get my wood glue, my wood glue, my upholstery glue, and my glue gun's ready to rock and roll, and we're gonna start wrapping stuff up, man. So it's gonna look like a whole different truck here, probably in the, like in the next hour. So let's get it. Show you real quick how good the carpet matches with the actual interior of the truck. Look at that stuff, man. So this is actually the carpet that we're gonna use for it, like in the man, like the tone with the camera it doesn't look like it matches but man it, it's pretty dead on you see it 
right here now it, it's on there man that thing's really badass so let me get it cracking man because i want to see what it looks like already subscribe to the channel drop some comments and turn those notifications to on man and let's get it of it and pretty much you know that's where the base is going to come out of right there um man that thing is going to be nasty very 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 nasty guys and when they look at it he can even be like man i got four tens maria four twelves no one will never know exactly what's inside this box only us all right so let me show you what we got i moved that out like when it was pointing inside the sun because man that thing was just messing up my video Okay, so there you go, look, this looks like a little bit You see it? This is all nice, right here, all the way down. That hole right there, that's where the wire's gonna pass through for the uh, amp rack. But you see the base comes out there right there. And man, that thing's gonna be knocking, knocking. It's gonna break something apart. Some was just beating too hard, so I couldn't get a good video, man. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think. It looks simple, but man, don't get it twisted. This thing's gonna be nasty. But once we put the amp rack right there, it's gonna give it a little bit more look. But you see it, guys. Looks really, really nasty. Very happy with it. The color matched perfect. I, it, the color couldn't even go like it's dead on. So some of the screws are missing, but for the majority of it, it man is ready to rock and roll. So tomorrow we load subs, amps, wire, everything and get it done so man we can get this uh, truck back to my boy and him jamming man so subscribe to the channel, drop some comments, let me know what you guys think. Um, next after this we got a console we got to build and a titty panel and man we go from there so subscribe to the channel.